Kanye West has been in the news a lot this past year. Whether it's for him making anti-Semitic remarks, losing millions of dollars, or saying the weird mustache man wasn't a bad guy. His issues with Kim Kardashian have been very public. Recently, people have been theorizing that he was cloned since he briefly disappeared. And the other week, he had a birthday party with the food being served on top of naked women. So with all the crazy things going on with Kanye recently, it's not surprising that some things have gone under the radar. Like the recent lawsuit that was just filed against his school, Donda Academy. This lawsuit filed by three ex-teachers at Donda Academy has revealed some very interesting things about Kanye's school, and it also has a lot of people comparing it to a cult. But first, what even is Donda Academy? After years of cementing himself as a successful musician and then a clothing designer, Kanye then took on the challenge of becoming an educator, or at least trying to start a school. I like some of the Kanye songs. What the fuck do you know about schools? Anyways, in 2022, Kanye West opened his K-12 school Donda Academy, named after his late mother. When people heard about this, they were immediately shocked, especially because of how odd the school is. The school was, and still is, extremely secretive, with the parents being required to sign non-disclosure agreements and the school's location being kept private, although people were able to figure out where it was located. All of the staff, students, and parents were not allowed to speak publicly about the school's existence, practices, and any other non-public details. Rolling Stone reached out to multiple employees, administrators, and representatives, and no one responded. No one knew any of the staff except for Brianne Campbell, who had never worked in education previously, but was in the process of getting her master's. Some teachers were still being hired right before the school opened, and some other administrators were leaving. The school also has a dress code of black Balenciaga uniforms that Kanye himself designed. One of the funniest things that people discovered about the school was in their daily schedule, after a day of worship, classes, lunch and recess, they would indulge in some parkour. Donda Academy is also an unaccredited private school with a $15,000 a year tuition, so none of this sounds too great, but it didn't all seem bad, with Donda Academy's mission being to prepare students to become the next generation of leaders. In reality, it just seemed like a weirder version of a private school. They had a 10 to 1 student teacher ratio, which is really good, and they also launched a basketball team called the Donda Doves. But other than that little bit of information, the school was shrouded in in mystery. If you go to the website, you'll be met with a very sleek black and white homepage, and when you click on who we are, you'll see a few brief statements on what the school is about. You won't actually see who they are, which definitely could be a red flag of the quality of the school. Most regular schools you see online have a pretty detailed description of their staff and what the school is all about. Kanye has also hardly talked about the school except for briefly in interviews. Give me a sense of why you decided you wanted to create a school. And, and what the mission is. You know, to be a performing arts school, to be a design school, an architecture school, a farming school, um, an automotive engineering school, a computer hardware and software school, financial engineering, not just financial literacy, and also to teach the gospel. And that is... Uh, that is Donda. He was also very vocal about his disagreement with Kim's decision to send their kids to a different school, which definitely could be a red flag about the quality of Kanye's school. Rolling Stone put it perfectly when they said, On the surface, the opportunity to attend Donda Academy seems invaluable. In addition to smaller class sizes and apparent ample financial resources, athletes can receive pointers from NBA players. Aspiring musicians have a direct line to Wes and his industry connections, and can join the school's choir, which will participate in West Sunday service. Children Children interested in fashion and other creative fields have the opportunity to learn at a school founded by a man with boundless imagination, but the lack of transparency about the inner workings of the school raises some questions about what's actually happening behind the scenes. Needless to say, people were very suspicious about Kanye's school, there were a lot of raised eyebrows, with some people even comparing it to a cult because of how weird the uniforms were and how there were NDAs and some other clips that were floating around the internet like this one that didn't make the school look so great. So is Kanye West school really a cult or is it just some super secret school that Kanye made to give these kids a good future? Well, information continued coming out after the school was made public and even more information came out after Kanye West's anti-Semitic chronicles. Also, something really interesting I wanted to note is how fit Kanye has been looking recently. I bet he's been eating pretty good. Maybe. 
he's been eating meals from Factor. If you're like me and you hate spending a ton of time cooking your food just to eat it in under a minute, but you still want to get some good nutritional quality, then Factor is the perfect brand for you. You can choose from over 30 different chef prepared meals that will be shipped directly to you. They're never frozen and they're made with premium ingredients. As you can see on the website, there's tons of meals and they look great. I just had the green chili chicken the other day and I absolutely loved it. You can also choose from a variety of add-ons to make your meal a little bit more interesting. There's also a bunch of meal options like protein Protein plus, vegan and veggie, chef's choice, keto, and calorie smart. Personally, I try to eat relatively good and stay in shape, but I'm also extremely lazy when it comes to cooking, so that's why Factor is the perfect brand. Rather than eating out every day, a box of yummy food comes straight to you. They sent me a giant box with tons of goodies, and I have been enjoying these meals all week, and I also got some smoothies that are really good. Overall, it's just great for my nutritional needs. So if you want to get some grub, head over to factor75.com or click the link in the description and use my code MADDIEB50 for 50% 50 off of your first box. Like I said, factor75.com, code MADDIEB50 for 50% off of your first factor box. I genuinely enjoy the food, so make sure to check it out. Now let's get back to the video. So, after Donda Academy went public, people began investigating the school and found out where it was located. At first, people were very surprised about how the school looked, since it looked a lot more like a cabin or a lodge type of thing rather than an actual school. Then, various YouTubers went to the actual location of the school in Simi Valley, although by then the school had been moved to Chatsworth, California, we still got a decent idea of the previous campus. And the Donda Academy campus definitely looked weird, and it didn't look like a campus that you would get when you spend $15,000 a year year in tuition. But then in October of 2022, Kanye went on his infamous rants that I'm sure you're all familiar with, which led to him losing out on millions of dollars, and it also caused him issues with his school. If you aren't familiar with this situation somehow, I'll briefly sum it up. So Kanye wore a White Lives Matter t-shirt, said he's going death con 3 on Jewish people, made comments about George Floyd, pressured Adidas to drop him, spoke nicely of Hitler, and did tons of other things that obviously resulted in public outrage. Following this, he was dropped by Adidas, dropped by Gap, dropped by his bank, lost tons of money, and worst of all, Peloton stopped playing his music in their workout classes. But one of the main issues with his public rants is that it briefly caused his school, Donda Academy, to be closed down. Parents at the school received an email that said, at the discretion of our founder, Donda Academy will close for the remainder of the 2022 to 2023 school year effective immediately. However, about four hours after that email was sent, parents got another one that said, join us tomorrow morning in worship for the return of Donda Academy. With the help of our parents and community, we are back and returning with a vengeance. The children of Donda are going to change the world. But unfortunately, it wasn't just over like that. The Donda Doves were uninvited for multiple basketball tournaments following Kanye's controversies, essentially screwing over the kids on the team. Overall, parents were obviously not happy with Kanye's actions. When you make comments or you do stuff, you have to think about your, your people, you have to think about your loved ones. You know what I'm saying? And which these kids were be considered as loved ones. Bailey plans to pull his son from the academy and he is not the only parent doing that. So on top of all of the other weird stuff going on at the school, they have a founder who will say crazy things, get into tons of controversies, and close the school on a whim, seemingly disregarding his entire student body. So is this really a cult or is it just a poorly run school? Well, a cult is defined by Oxford as a relatively small group of people having religious beliefs or practices regarded by others as strange or sinister. Now obviously this is a pretty vague statement, but Donda Academy does fulfill the requirement of having a small group. They emphasize religious beliefs and practices, and the school is most definitely strange. Also, cults are typically known for having a self-appointed and very charismatic leader, which Kanye obviously fulfills. But that leaves me with one more question. Is anything going on at the school sinister, or is it just weird? Well, some more information pertaining to this came out in the lawsuit that I mentioned earlier. A couple of months ago, two teachers from Donda Academy that were hired in January this year and fired in March this year filed a lawsuit against Kanye and his school. A third teacher joined in on the lawsuit just a couple of weeks ago. Now I do want to point out that this lawsuit is still ongoing, so that means that most of the information in this lawsuit is alleged, but if it's true, that could be very bad news for Donda Academy and its students. Some of the weirder stuff mentioned in the lawsuit is that a bunch of items were banned, such as crossword puzzles, coloring sheets, jewelry, art 
on the walls, chairs, and either Nike or Adidas products. And the thing that probably headlined the most after this lawsuit came out is the fact that students were only allowed to eat one meal a day, which was sushi that they had to eat on the floor without utensils. Apparently, he was actually spending $10,000 a week on sushi while paying his employees irregularly and inaccurately. They also weren't allowed to use cleaning supplies since Kanye didn't believe in cleaning products with chemicals, so teachers were only able to use acid water and cloths. Another rule created because of Kanye's beliefs were that classes couldn't be held on the second floor since he was apparently afraid of stairs. Donda Academy didn't have a janitor, security, and the medical stuff like medications for students were stored in a janitorial closet alongside other expired medications. The teachers claimed they were all fired for bringing up these concerns to the new principal because the last one quit after Kanye's controversies, and the concerns they brought up were about exposed electrical wiring, bullying, assaults on campus, other health concerns, and everything else I just listed. After bringing these up to the administration, the teachers were just terminated without reason or notice, leading the teachers to assume that they were terminated just for trying to make sure the school was run properly. But most of these things are kind of just dumb rules, right? Like, none of it's that bad. Well, there were also some much more concerning claims made in the lawsuit. The school lacked a disciplinary structure, which led to many kids getting bullied and no one getting in trouble. One of the most concerning things brought to attention was that the doors were locked from the outside, and apparently Kanye hasn't heard of the Triangle Shirtwaist Factory fire, which isn't entirely surprising as he allegedly omits things from the students' history lessons. Now, in my opinion, this is the part that should have headlined because this is probably the most dangerous, but according to the Los Angeles Times, they definitely wanted to suppress a lot of information in reference to history. They didn't want the kids to know really about African American history or Asian American history. The lawsuit also alleged that information about the Holocaust was omitted from the rubric. So based on Kanye's anti-Semitic rants, his ability to change the curriculum to whatever he pleases, and the omitting of important things from history lessons, I'm going to go ahead and check off the sinister box. Because if this is true, this is very dangerous for both the kids' academic future and their overall future. It seems like he's influencing these kids with his own beliefs, some of which I'm sure we can all agree could very well be dangerous, which is very clearly some cult-like activity. One of the teachers in the lawsuit said that, I still enjoy his music, and I'll never deny his talent, but while his vision for this school sounds great on paper, it's just pure chaos and mutiny. It's like a mental hospital being run by the patients. So from an outside perspective, it does kind of look like Kanye is building a really big and devoted following around himself and his beliefs, which very well could be dangerous. I'm not, I'm not making this video to say, oh, it's bad, it's all terrible, it's all wrong, it's weird. It's definitely weird, but after digging a little bit deeper, I have realized that this very well could be a bad thing. He already has a very huge influence with his fan base, but now he has a direct line of influence to hundreds of people. Also, because of Kanye's bipolar disorder and his impulsiveness, having him directly responsible for hundreds of kids may not be the best idea, as we saw when he closed the school down for four hours. But maybe everyone is just blowing this out of proportion and it's not actually a big deal. Maybe Kanye really genuinely wants to help improve the students' lives and the Sunday service attendees lives and he's doing everything in his power to do that. However, as Kanye West himself said, no one man should have all that power. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. Please make sure to leave a like if you did. Other than that, this has been Matty Balls. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about Kanye West school. If you think it's a good thing, bad thing, doesn't matter, whatever. Let me know in the comments below. Other than that though, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next week.